A big hearty thank you to Matthew, or Math Easy Solutions eBay, or not eBay, but uh, YouTube channel, for finding all that information and putting it in an area that I can access. That's Dr. Robert Coons, a friend of mine some years ago, and he wrote a letter to me, um, a certificate of endorsement, actually. He used to be with NSA, and he's a physicist. He got sick, and I don't know if he's still alive or what, but uh, it's been a number of years. He's a top scientist, and we got to know each other, my God, I guess in the late 90s, I think. Wow. Appreciate what you've done in finding that stuff. Dissolving scissors. I vaguely recall that one, but I looked at it and said, I think I remember that. Plus other videos of things flying apart and other stuff. Other news is I got into Facebook. I've been off of it since um, December. Wow. So I managed to use uh, well, Nancy's phone. They want a phone number all the time, so I did that and I got in unlocked had to do this and that and then uh i don't know if it's working but it's john kenneth hutchison there is a lot of videos and other information uploaded there that's worthy of maybe your interest so that was just uh what uh, a couple hours ago because i came over here normally not on the internet when i'm here except making a stupid video once in a while but oh well so you want to maybe check that out and use whatever you want to use. There's a lot of stuff there from what I remember. In that same time zone, let me think. As I had my operation on my leg, my knee, which is healed up really good. It looks as sexy as hell, right? Boy, I love showing off, don't I? Yeah, um, been working a lot around here organizing new arrivals coming in here and other things so on monday or tuesday arrives a thousand pound magnet electro magnet that'll be interesting i want to mount it a foot or so off the floor on a swivel mount as before i had smaller electro magnets a lot of small ones I would have in series and parallel and I put pulse current and voltage into them. And that helped a lot with the field structure stuff I was doing. It, well, I had to because <laughs> apartment, you know, and in the other industrial places, not big ones. But they got stolen by, you know, the environment people and all that stuff, and long story. It's a digging up all the time. But, uh, okay, so, appreciate it, and I'll check more tonight when I get back into the, into the house. Personally, I like doing these stupid videos, and then upload them at night, or other videos I find, um, that haven't been uploaded. Seems to be a lot of them. But, yeah, I have to really look tonight on what you found with Dr. Kuntz's website he made for me and put all that stuff together. I forgot all about it until uh, I saw a uh, notice on the Hutchison Effect videos. And glory and behold, there was Dr. Kuntz's stuff he did on me. So... I put a, I use clips because I don't know how to copy it, you know, I don't, I'm still ig internet stupid, really. I don't know. So, I really appreciate it. Matthew. And check out his science videos, like on Einstein, and time dilation, all kinds of cool stuff on his YouTube channel which I didn't know either until last night when I 
looking through it all. You know, at night, you, I'm not here, but if I was here, I'd be um, actually quite busy. And sometimes I will spend late time and don't bother with the internet, but because I like working all the time and creating all this stuff. What was I thinking about? Engineering, oh yeah, okay, I got something going in my head again. It's just, I get these things whirling around in my head. It's, uh, it's about a, a metal saw thing I'm designing in my head. I got the steel. I have the cutting tool itself. It's a big, heavy thing that holds a blade, maybe 16, 17 inches long. I already bought a chunk of steel years ago, put it there so it would ride back and forth like this. So I'm thinking of mounting it with uh, one by two uh, steel beams on a plate of steel, which is coming this way soon. And adding a rotary device for driving the thing. I already have a, I'm not sure, I will grab it for a second. Not the blade, it's too heavy. It's really heavy. But the arm, hitman arm. Hitman arm. How dedicated am I? Well, <laughs> believe it or not, I made this. It's very heavy. It's a good uh, hot rolled steel. So this will be uh, on a arm that goes like that, right? Around and drive the thing back and forth like so. I think it looks like the right size I have. I don't know if it is. Which I'll be adding grab that too. Mm. Okay, this piece here has a gear reducer and this would go on a round flange or a round disc. I guess not, okay. Like so, I'll go round and round and around. So I'll be the driving unit. <laughs> hmm. I put this together oh, about six months ago. I was gonna use it for something else. I got smart. And what I'm gonna do is just use a smaller pulley on the old drill press, so. And what else have I been building up? Hydraulic press. 5010 hydraulic press. Out of um, very thick all thread, four pieces and two plates. Primitive but effective. And that's what I've been doing. I do bits and pieces, I go here, I do that, and come around, okay, I'll just time work on that one for a while and go to the next one. But I like working with the machine tools, as you know, creating things and other machinery. So, yeah, um, hmm. I guess I could quickly show you the arm or the, oh, small screw on the floor, hmm, okay. I'll show you that, why not? Oh, this is the heavy arm thing. It's kind of hard to see it. Oh, here we are. Oh, but can we look at that? Mm -hmm. There it is, there. That's a bar of steel I got. So that's be mounted 
have it moving back and forth. Now what I want to do is use the weight, the cutting energy, right? What I want to do, add right here, like a screw jack. So I can manually operate it by hand up and down. That's what I'm trying to do, so I'll see if I get around to doing it. So, yeah, sort of a hand screw, you just have it running and... <laughs> you just use the hand screw to lower it, or right to bring it up. So that should work. Do I have actual feel of what I'm doing, huh? So, that's what I'm going to be doing, too. Got words from overseas from somebody. There's a couple of scientists who want to come visit here, but I don't know if they'll be here during the winter time or what time. I don't know. So let's go visit John Alexander, which I'd love to do. I haven't seen him in years. And Mike, a friend we stayed with, uh, Colonel Alexander's friend Mike, where uh, we stayed. I think it was a week or so at his home in uh, Mississippi or something like that. He's close friends with John Alexander, both scientists, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. <laughs> but, other than that, I'll be busy here. I'd rather go, never mind. Um, hopefully take in the scrapyard sometime soon. Stock up on things that I actually need and metals and parts and pieces, maybe insulators, wire, cable, that old stuff. What should I do when I go to Petaluma scrapyard? Like, I don't know, oh, this one then. I got a lot of capacitors from there, big capacitors. And this black motor, plus many other things I got from them. And this milling machine over there, I got that from them. That was fun. Good people. No high prices, just logical prices. I see a lot of logical prices on eBay for test equipment, it's vintage. Anywhere from 20 bucks up to maybe 100 or 200, depending on, on the eBay seller. But I, I scored a lot of stuff for really reasonable because when I go look at it, they seem to know when you look at it and they send a special offer. It's gonna be half price, free shipping sometimes too, so that's fun. So uh, money in the, the account would help a lot if I can find some somewhere, but we'll see. So on that note, I should shut up. Make sure I did, whoop, that thing almost fell over. Make sure I did take this, and off I go.